Hello, Wastelanders. It's Jewel Smith. And this is going to be a quick video to show you my food processing machine. They're calling it the food processor. I added the conveyor storage on the end, which is optional. It doesn't have to be there. If you don't put it there, then everything just rolls out and falls on the ground or into some other container like a bathtub or whatever you want to put underneath. I've hooked up a terminal, a switch, and there's the power. I'm at Abernathy Farm, which I toured in a previous settlement tour video. And this is where I built my food manufacturing facility. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you each item, what it looks like when it comes out, and what ingredients are required to make it. Food processing controls. Let's start with Blamco brand mac and cheese. That requires razor grain, carrot, purified water, and plastic. We'll switch it on. And away we go. It comes out with the shiny brand new box, which is nice. But not all of the items come out shiny and brand new. I don't know why. Some of them do and some of them don't. We'll do cram next. Requires Brahmin meat, rad stag meat, mongrel dog meat, and steel. Brahmin meat's pretty easy to find. There's a lot of Brahmin throughout the wasteland. Alrighty. The mongrel dog meat can be a little more challenging. But I get a lot of mongrel dogs spawning near Somerville Place, so that's where I get my mongrel dog meat. Fancy Lad Snack Cakes. Razor Grain, Tarberry, Purified Water, and Plastic. Razor Grain I have growing right here at Abernathy. And the Tarberries I collect out at the Slog. And that comes out with another shiny new looking box. It's nice. Alright, next we will do the Instamash. That requires potatoes and cloth. I assume the cloth is to make the paper box. And I have potatoes growing all over the place in many of my settlements because potatoes are also an essential ingredient in vegetable starch, which can be used as an adhesive. And Lord knows you need a lot of adhesive in this game. And that comes out in a shiny brand new box as well. And if you look at it, it will actually say preserved Instamash when you collect it. There. All right, let's do pork and beans. This one's a little more challenging. It takes mole rat meat and silt beans which I don't think those can be grown anywhere. You just have to try to find them throughout the wasteland and that can be a little bit of a challenge. I've managed to find a few, but it comes out in a dingy old looking can, not a shiny new can. Oh, see, I must've run out of silt beans. It can't make any more. Alrighty. Now we'll look at potato crisps. Those take potatoes, aluminum, and oil. Aluminum to make the potato crisp tube, I assume, like Pringles. Is it gonna come out? Am I out of potatoes? I have aluminum. I have potatoes. Oh, I must be out of oil. Oh, no, I have oil. Well, why is it not working? That's odd. Let's check it again. 
Okay. Yes, it should be working. Oh, there it goes. That was a little odd. And there it goes. Potato crisps. Those come out in kind of a crappy looking can too. Alright, what's next? Salisbury steak. Mmm. Corn, Brahmin meat, silt beans, and plastic. Oh, uh, I might not be able to make these if I'm out of beans. Oh, no, maybe there's some beans still in there. Here it comes. And that comes out in a shiny new box, too, just like the mac and cheese. Alright, let's try the sugar bombs. Corn, razor grain, and plastic. Okay. Do I have to switch it on and off again? There we go. And that comes out in a really cool new looking box. Alright, and the last thing should be the yum yum deviled eggs. There they are. These require a Mirelurk egg. I think because that's the only eggs available in the game, though you would think that would make the yum yum deviled eggs ginormous. Oil and plastic. Okay. But they come out in a cruddy old looking box. Ew. It's kind of a bummer that it's not a nice shiny new box. All right, we'll switch that off. There we go. And there's all of our goodies. Now, what I'll show you, too, is that the things that you make now, the ones that come out in the shiny boxes do not have rads. You won't take rads from eating them. But the things that come out in the cruddy containers, like cram and the potato crisps, and the yum yum deviled eggs, they still give you rads when you eat them. But the sugar bombs, Salisbury steak, preserved Instamash, and the fancy lad snack cakes, those don't give you rads anymore if you make them from the machine. So there you go. That's everything you can make with the food processing machine in Fallout 4. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you later. Bye.